My name is Emily and I've heard about the benefits of balance transfer credit cards. When should I consider using one to pay off my credit card? All right, Emily, this is a great question. So there's a couple factors that I look at. Number one is what are the fees involved to transfer one balance over to the new credit card? Okay. And then what is the introductory rate and how long is that for? Because most credit cards do this temptation to move the balance over because they know you'll most likely not pay that balance off. And then they'll be able to collect the interest on that balance once it's transferred over after the introductory rate expires. So at the end of the day, you want to know what you're paying for. So you want to be very aware of the fees that are involved because sometimes credit card companies will tack on big fees to transfer the balance. Some will have limits of how much balance you can move over. And then number three is most people don't realize that that introductory rate that you're getting on the credit card is only temporary, which is still, it's still beneficial transferring over to maybe a 0% rate. Just try to do your best to pay as much of that balance off. So when that introductory rate goes back up to the normal prime, which is in the 20% range, you're not left scratching your head.